episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're saying uh, Dr. Decker. He's dead, and this dude did it, and he likes looking at girls. Yeah, I didn't say he did it. He, he does like looking at girls, though. He, he did like girls, that. though. Uh, tell me, why would uh, the military be following you? Yeah, sure, yeah. I'm surprised I haven't been approached earlier. I mean, my skills in the military... Special Ops would be a breeze, wouldn't it? Waltz in past everyone during the midnight hour. Get whatever you want and return to friendly soil. It also makes me think that they might already know all of that. And that they want to get rid of me in case I tell anyone else. Oh. Would you do something for me? If... If they get me? What do you want? Just say it, bro. Why? Well, I, I yeah. won't have to ask you the question. Just tell oh, me. Yeah, yeah. If they get him, yeah, we'll do something for him. If, if what, they get he him, he doesn't even say what. If yes, I'll do something for you, or no, I won't. Do yeah, something. if they get him, though, he said if they get him, like if he disappears, we can tell we can tell someone that he was. He, he, no, he didn't specify. He could be like, you know, could you feed my dog? Could you water my cat? Yeah, I say we go down this path though. All right. Would you tell Jessica? I love her. Oh, jeez. She didn't really know me that well, but I did love her. She doesn't know me, but she, I do love and her. And also, there's a hard drive in the bottom drawer of my drinks cabinet. Please destroy it. <laughs> Please. Don't look at it. Oh, it's the pictures of the... Oh, Jessica's the na the lady you took the naked pictures of. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jessica is not one of our... Wow. I think I think he said his neighbor was Jessica. Yeah. He, okay. Um. Yeah. Right. Let's let's ask about because he's following the hooded figure. That's what all those are about. So let's tell him about the bar brawl. Yeah. Let's go through those. Start with the bar brawl. I split the brawl up. Oh, good Samaritan. Okay. Okay. Easy. So he split the brawl up, and then oh the, yeah, we'll do the bedroom window last. What is the, the open till? I did nothing. I'm not stealing anymore. All right. Except for dead bot. Now the window. He's so like, he didn't steal the money from the from the register. So he's been breaking the temptations. I looked in. Watching other people is somehow built into our genes, Doctor. Yeah, Levi. There was an old woman in bed. Okay. I went inside. Her? Uh oh. Her bed covers were smoking. I think she'd fallen asleep holding a cigarette. <gasps> I took the covers and put them in the bath. She'd have died otherwise. And no, I didn't take any pictures. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and no, I wasn't a creep this time. Uh, let's see. What <laughs> right. else? Tell me about... Yeah. Yeah. What else can you tell us about Dr. Decker? So here. I spied on Dr. Decker not long before he was murdered. Okay. I'm not sure I should tell you what I saw. A woman trapped in his basement? In his basement. Oh, my Lord. This is what we need to know. Yeah, right? We and need then, to and know. Then he, and then he's going to tell us about burying David. So, uh, what did you see in his basement? Then we can tell Jaya that Dr. Decker was holding ladies in his basement. Right? What did you see in his basement? I've been feeling uneasy with Dr. Decker for some time. I mentioned how he'd changed before. So okay. So I began spying on him at home. One night, the basement door was open, and Decker was returning upstairs. He was in his house? I skipped past him. And there she was, a girl. It was difficult to tell. It, it was dark, and she was chained. So that corroborate, corroborates with Claire. With Claire, yeah, that he had a girl in his basement. Yeah. So Doctor Decker was a dirty D dude. He was d he was seeing his patients. He had a, a lady chained up in his basement. He was he, now. I'm starting to think he was telling David to do these things. Or right? Bryce, yeah, because remember he blamed him. He said he was the one that was convincing him to. Yeah. Wow, dude. All right, Maybe well, Doctor Hyde, dude. And he's probably one who freed the girl. Right I here. removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence, though. No evidence of what he'd done. That's how he she got free. away. I saved her. I'm not evil. I destroyed evil. He destroyed Decker. Anyway, so, <clears throat> all right. Bryce said he took the girl in Decker's basement to the police station. Claire says the girl was Iris. I should tell Bryce that Claire says he's smuggling bodies. Yeah. Okay. Seems about right. All right. So, did you bury David? I'm actually a classically trained pool bearer. 
There are a lot of health and safety considerations. Not everybody can do it. Well, properly at least. Occasionally I step in if the funeral director is short-shouldered. Short-shouldered. I do remember her face. She wasn't upset in the usual way. She seemed agitated. Her husband must have been a giant. The coffin was so heavy. I remember because aft port side sprained his ankle. That and he wasn't lifting correctly. <laughs> yeah, but she said that she paid him to... Yeah, there yeah. we go. All to right. Claire ask you to do something with Yeah, the yeah this is what we want to know. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Doctor. I saw Claire Castleford's husband in the coffin myself before carrying him to the grave. He is in the ground. I'm sure it wouldn't take much for the police to get an order to have him exhumed. Just make sure it's done on Tuesday morning when I'm off. <laughs> He's like, don't come into the store when I have to work. All right, I got, we got another thing. All right. Claire, uh, I should tell Claire, Bryce says her, her husband, husband is, is in, in the, the ground. Which would be like the next day because we can't, yeah, we can't okay. ask any more stuff. All, All right. right. Unless, wait, hold on, let me see. Maybe I can. No, nope. I can't. Okay. So it's just like, yeah, day by day, I guess. All right, so tell me about the paper spike. Dr. Still Decker frequently used that paper spike on his desk as an example. I'm sure he did it with the other patients, too. He'd make me look at it, touch the point to see how sharp it was. He'd tell me that because I think it's sharp, it will hurt me. But if I thought it was nothing, it could pass right through my hand. <laughs> Dude, Dr. Decker sounds like a crazy man. <laughs> Maybe he just had an eccentric way of teaching. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it does sound crazy to me. Oh, here we go. Uh, how Why was your did job? You say aft port side. Uh, I, let's just ask that because. How did you say aft port side? I find using nautical terms to describe the position of pallbearers fitting. Okay. Plus, most of them are three sheets to the wind. You know, drunk. Okay, that's fair. I <laughs> Didn't mean anything. Yeah, I Have you seen Jessica again, by the way? Jessica is a beautiful woman. All right, brother, calm down. I've not spied on her since the incident we talked about. Yeah, huh? I have real feelings for her, Doctor. I just... We've never connected. We just said he loves her. She's like, yeah. I don't really know her, but I... I mean, she doesn't really know me, but I love her. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't know me, but I sexually assaulted her, like, once or twice. Um, maybe you should try talking to Jessica. No. We're gonna leave that one alone. How was your job? I put my hand through a rusty nail at work today. <laughs> it hurt like hell and bled like I'd been shot. <laughs> I closed my eyes and thought, this isn't happening. The nail is just a worm, and it will wriggle through me. When I looked back, can you guess what I saw? D d do tell. Do tell. What did you see? Yeah. When I looked back at my hand, it was healed. Look, see? Yeah, mine got healed too. I cut it off. Look, see? Yeah, it's cut, there, dude. Cut the whole hand off. How did your hand heal? Oh, Lord. My hand had healed. The nail had become a worm and was wriggling in my palm. It was like a little miracle. Like magic. Oh. Do you believe in magic? Yep. yep. Do you think magic healed you? I do. I shouldn't really <laughs> say miracle or magic. They're words that Dr. Decker used when he tried to get you to think things and make them real. But do you think it's real, Doctor? Oh that my lord. Magic. It's real. Do I? Do we think magic is real? I'd say no because he it was side with him because he said I don't believe it's. Okay. Doc, yeah, Doctor oh. Decker did magic. No. And so it isn't. I envy you, Doctor. I wish I could be so sure. Why are you sucking the roof of your mouth? <laughs> No, he had like mad, mad uh, what's his name? Never gonna give you oh, up. Oh, Rick Astley. He had a little Rick, Rick Astley in his face. All right, let's. I'm not telling yeah, him to talk to him. Yeah, tell him, dude. He needs to try to get, Thank get you, there. Doctor. Thank you. It's nice you think I'm capable of such basic interaction with females. But I'm still in awe of her, really. I will think about it, though. 
I don't think he should be talking to the young lady who he sexually assaulted. Yeah, and see, we didn't even need to end. I, I honestly don't think he should have done that. I think he needs to go talk to her and try to, <laughs> try to mend the fence, dude. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, you want to talk to Jaya next? Prof Warwick? Oh, it's the professor, dude. Who the... <laughs> That's the guy from the video, I think. No, it's not. That was Alderby. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Let's go with this dude, then. Okay. We already got a... Who are you? That's a Who good way. I... Yeah, yeah. Let's... Who are you? Uh, Professor Warwick. I'm a physicist. Where's Dr. Decker? Why would they just throw him at... They love throwing new people at us, man. The I, guy's like, oh. Oh, wrong button here. Dr. Decker is dead. Is he really? Actually, Dad, hmm? not a worthy adversary after all, then. What? Doesn't doesn't care. Excuse me. Could you get your feet off of the couch? Kicks his feet up. He's like, oh, he's dead. Well, hmm. and this must be his nemesis, dude. It's the Sasuke to his Naruto. All right. Doctor Decker challenged me. He tried to use my theories against me, quantum theories. Oh. Yeah, what okay. a what a dickhead. Yeah, what theories, guy? Do you really want to know? Not really. Decker's eyes used to glaze over whenever we talked about that. He uh, didn't believe in quantum physics. As if it's something that you can optionally believe in. Well, it started with an experiment. Okay. Okay. Okay, what experiment? Have you heard of quantum suicide doctor absolutely not oh god please don't tell me that's a question because i don't i don't know what it oh, is oh wait well we can just wait for the next one to figure out what quantum suicide is <laughs> oh could we <laughs> yeah we can all right i'm gonna look it up in yeah, the meantime look, yeah all right that's all the time we have today's episode please make sure to like subscribe if you already did that hit that notification bell for jonas tnt uh we are out uh.